Um, so as said is in the introduction, I will be presenting our Sussfisch book, um, which is a summary of a 10 year research, um, academic research partnership with our partners in Burkina Faso. So I want to give you some insights into that and into the results that we found. So formerly um, named Upper Volta due to its location in the Volta Basin, um, water and fish resources have been central to the development in Burkina Faso. Yet the importance of the fisheries and sustainable management of the water resources have only more recently gained attention faced with the challenges of a growing population and also climatic changes. Drought, um, chronic water shortages, and few permanent water courses have incentivized the government to the building of several water storage capacities around the country. Right now, in total, there's over 1,600 reservoirs of varying sizes, and this has um, enabled the expansion of agriculture and also the consumption and production of fish for protein. But it's also caused an increase of pressures due to the conflicting interests and uses, from hydropower to irrigation, pollution from agriculture, livestock, or human uses, the mounting pressures have created the necessity for standardized assessment methods and coordinated governance to allow fisheries to become a solution for sustainable management. Um, the Sussfish project, as mentioned, um, is started in two phases from 2011, and its aim was to look at the fisheries in Burkina from an ecosystem and society perspective, putting this together into a systems-based analysis. And the second phase, Sussfish Plus, started in 2016 and aimed to bring together stakeholders to form the basis for capacity building. Multiple generations of students and scientists have now been involved, um, and many students also passed through both projects, continuing their scientific career. The challenge now at the end was to create a platform to put all of this together and share the many results that were generated. So what we decided to do in the project was to create a book. Um, this will put the different perspectives together and create a platform for others to learn and use the tools, understand the results, the interactions between the environmental and socioeconomic analysis, and also build on the different perspectives and pathways that have been presented. We call this our social transformation to sustainable water management. So the topics range from tradition, history, and development of fisheries to the use of bioindicators and an introduction into the methodology of and aquatic species diversity. This is put into a larger socioeconomic context and in the conclusion, research into aquaculture and policy recommendations are formulated to, to suggest a way forward. I won't be able to go into detail, but I want to give you an insight into some of the contents. First of all, the book provides um, an explanation of the methods used um, and this, the aim of this is to provide a basis for further research to be completed and to understand the results. Oh, no, it's stuck. Sorry. Um, a summary, so there was a lot of fish and macroinvertebrates sampling being done and a summary of these um, species is provided in the annex and we are now also um, creating a fit fish handbook which will have species descriptions and an identification key which, is an, which will be the first book of species only in Burkina Faso and is an important tool for effective assessment and monitoring of the ex ecosystem integrity. Um, the species monitoring is accompanied by an explanation and calculation of pressure indices. Reference sites with the lowest pressure index were found to have the highest total biomass and species diversity, and there was um, evidence of pressures found in all sites surveys, yet the protected areas were found to have the most suitable, were found to be the most suitable for determining um, benchmark levels. Additionally, a literature analysis on climate change um, in Burkina is accompanied by modeling, modeling results that you see here, which show the impact that um, this will have on the biotic environment and how species distributions will change over time. Um, Commercial fishing has only been a recent development in Burkina Faso with a reservoir building, and it's created a tension between different institutional organizations. A particular focus is laid in the book in the transition from traditional local governance that originated in pre-colonial times where fishing was done on a small scale to the national systems that were instated in response to the reservoir building and the expansion of fisheries. Today, over 30,000 fishermen and several thousand women also are involved in these value chains providing fish and processed, um, fresh and processed fish. These value chain chains are highly heterogeneous and um, unstructured in terms of the number of actors present and the training and professionality of these actors. Um, this owes to the open access nature of the fisheries where only a, 
a permit is necessary to take part. This analysis has also showed that there's a, there are clear gender roles. For example, it's mostly fishermen who do all the fishing, while women form the majority, majority of the processors and traders. And as such, they often also supply loans to the men to buy material. This on the one hand ensures them a constant supply of um, fish to sell, and it also creates employment opportunities for the men in the communities. While domestic fish production has actually been increasing, 80% of the consumed fish is still um, imported. Um, aquaculture has recently gained increasing atten attention with um, ambitious targets being set in national strategies, yet up to now it's only supplies 1% of the national production. The analysis in our book provides suggestions for um, improvement. Additionally, within the project, two social simulations were conducted. Um, to provide an opportunity for um, exploration among the stakeholders, how interactions between the, the biophysical, social, and economic factors influence the potential of a river basin for sustainable development. From this, this um, desirable pathways created into, um, were designed into the future. And following um, the intention of our book, we didn't want to just share these results which have also recently been published within the project by Vincent Paul Sanon, who's doing his PhD. But we wanted to give an insight into the organization and the structure of such an activity so that it can also be replicated and used in other projects. Additionally, we have um, created causal maps as shown here, and these have presented five points of entry into the system for sustainable transition. These were found to be on the one hand, the regeneration of natural fish populations, the expansion of aquaculture, increasing education and experience among the actors in the value chain, and also the integration of women into fisheries governance. These um, points of entry have then been rephrased into concrete policy recommendations that are addressed to decision makers in Burkina, which will allow for a sustainable path into the future, as well as formulation of a fu future project with a focus on challenges that we may have picked up along the way. So um, that's the contents of the book and um, what are we doing now? It's been printed in English and, it's, and it will be distributed in Austria and Burkina Faso, as well as being made um, available freely online. And additionally, we submitted a proposal for another project that will um, translate this book into French and More, which is an important regional language. And this will allow for further distribution in Burkina Faso. Um, so thank you very much. I, I um, hope I could give you good insight and I hope I can answer your questions or at least refer you to a colleague in the consortium. Thank you.